The Rigid Sea Snake RM200 with TrueSense is a very portable camera system. With the wheels, it's very easy to bring it on to any job site. So there's two different drums you can purchase with the RM200. This one is the B drum, which is orange and it's the most stiff. It comes with 165 feet of push cable. The A drum is actually red, so it's a mid-stiff flexibility and you would recognize that it's red here. And that comes with 200 feet of push cable. Also, we have storage bins here where I've Got my goggles, some gloves, and just some tools that you need to start any project. On the back side, a nice little spot for a water bottle. The clips here actually secure your monitor onto your reel. And then by the push of this button, it'll actually turn that into a kickstand for added stability while use. On the RM200, you can actually purchase a second storage bin or if you ever need to, this storage bin can go on either side. There's actually just two little clips here holding it down into the reel. And then you push a button here and you can just flip it to the other side. And then it just clips back in and you've just heard the noise of it actually clipping in and it's fully secured again. The RM200 has three positions that it can be used in. Vertical just like this at the 45 degree angle and it can be placed on its back. The RM200 comes standard with a 25 millimeter camera head that's also self-leveling. So as the camera head moves inside the pipe, the camera itself is rotating inside the head. So the bottom of the pipe is always at the bottom of your monitor. It also comes standard with TrueSense. TrueSense is gonna deliver the high dynamic range image sensor provides the best-in-class color, clarity, and detail while in the pipe. It also comes with tilt sense, which actually will measure the, the pitch of the camera head while it's in the pipe. Behind the camera head, this is the Flexmitter Sond that provides advanced locating capabilities. The B reel comes with a standard dual nesting spring that allows you to navigate multiple turns while it keeps the stiffness to be able to push long distances while in pipe. It's also waterproof up to 100 meters. If you want to replace the drum, the most important thing is get the camera all the way inside. The reel itself has a really high tension. You don't want to hurt yourself. You'll need to remove the storage bin, unclip, open the lid and push the button on the inside. And there's six safety clips that you need to undo. One on the bottom and then two on the top on each side. And then you can remove the drum. And then to put the drum back in, just make sure it's aligned. And you'll want to hold on to the camera reel and just lead it through the hole before you pull it any farther. Because again, that tension there is a really safety issue. And you can put all the clips back down. And you're ready to go. On all of our rigid sea snake monitors, we actually use a three pin connector here. And you'll see this little rib, but this rib actually tells you that that's the top side going into here. So when you screw it in, you align the rib and rotate that piece. All rigid sea snake camera reels can be used wirelessly. Just remove the cable and the slip ring. And you can use it with a CSX Via using an eight, rigid 18 volt battery to power it. Just line up the little dots, turn, and click in. All camera reels connect the same way via the three pin connector cable. If you flip the monitor over, you'll see the same thing. You have ribs here, align it as the top, push in and rotate. And now we're connected. And now we're just gonna get the reel set up for use. We're gonna unspool a little bit of the cable. And we're gonna flip our monitor over, flip the lid open, and we'll push the power. And you'll see the light on the camera lights up. That, that tells you that it's powering on. 
and it'll take a few seconds, but it'll get all the way on and ready for use. And as we pull the camera out from the drum, you'll recognize here on screen that it has a cable counter. So right now we're about one foot, four inches out. What I wanna do is once I get to the, the camera to the hole, I'm gonna reset that by hitting the net zero. I'm gonna hold the net zero button. So now we know as the camera head goes through, this number will, will update. Also, we're gonna record this job by hitting this camera button right here. And then once it starts recording, you'll see the red light turn on. Also in here, you see the tilt sense that comes with TrueSense. It's actually telling you the pitch of the camera head. So right now, we're at about a 51 degree downward angle. And as we get down into the pipe, you can see that it's flattening out a little bit. So as we push the camera out, you'll recognize that on the bottom of the monitor, you continue to see the bottom of the pipe. That's the self-leveling capabilities of the camera head. It's a really smooth push as we're going through. You can see we just went around an angle. Now that we're 95 feet out, if we wanted to find this area of the yard, what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate the sond inside the camera head. You'll see the green light turns on. When you pull the camera head back, we recommend to use a rag to actually clean off the push rod just to keep that gunk from going inside of your drum. Now we'll wipe off the, the rest of the camera. And this is the RM200 with TrueSense. Visit rigid.com for more information where you can also request a demo or contact your local distributor.